Hello guys, this is Miss Ana Luisa Bermea and we're in fifth grade. Be ready. Today we will work on language. So go get your notebook and your pens. Our class today is teach, learn, let, and lead. These are some verbs that sometimes are getting confused. Do not confuse the verbs teach and learn. Their meaning are related, but not the same. Also, be careful not to confuse the verse let and leave. They sound similar, where their meanings are different. I want you to copy this information on your notebook. We have the verb, the meaning, and an example. Teach is to give instructions. He will teach us history. Learn the meaning is to receive instructions. We will learn about Rome. Let's make a parenthesis here. The verb teach is when the teacher teaches you. It, she gives info, information or instruction. We have learn. That's what students do. You learn from the teacher. Now let's read the next set of verb. Let is to permit. Let Kevin go with us. Let me go to the restroom. It's to permit. Leave. Leave has two meanings. To go away from. We will leave tomorrow. Leave the classroom. To let remain in place. Leave it on the table. Leave your notebook on the table. Leave your jacket on the chair. So the word leave has two meanings, to go away and to let remain in place. Copy that in your notebook. Now, this is activity one. This should be in your notebook, okay? It's to evaluate. Which is correct in each sentence? Teach or learn. In the first four sentences, you will use only teach or learn. How can I more about interesting places to visit in the city? If I want to visit in the city, how can I learn more about interesting places in the city? The guide will teach you. The guide will teach you. Now, you will do number three and number four by yourself. Let's go to the second set of sentences. Which is correct on each sentence? Now you will use let or leave. Remember the leave has two meanings. Will you blank me go to the museum with Nate this morning? Will you let me? Will you permit me? Let me go to the museum with Nate this morning. We should blank this crowd train go by. We should leave this train go by. To go away. Okay? So you will complete number seven and number eight. I already give you half of the activity. Copy that on your notebook. Now I want you to go to your workbook plus, please, on page 64. On the lesson, teach, learn, let, and live. Okay, let's read the instructions. Complete each sentence with the correct word in parentheses. Okay, the sentences have, have the verbs in parentheses. Number one, Mr. Burke will blank us about camping. Mr. Burke will teach us about camping. Number two, students will blank about many kinds of camps. We we'll learn, students will learn about many kinds of camps. Number three, teachers blank the campers work independently. The teachers let permit, the teachers permit the campers work independently. So the word is let. You will do by yourself number four, five, and six. I will read them, but you will complete it by yourself. 
campers blank to do things on their own, their parents blank them go to overnight camp. At camp, they blank how to live outdoors. Okay? We will continue with the activity on the bottom on letter B. It is also on page 64. This letter has six errors in the use of teach, learn, let, and live. Use proofreading marks to correct the letter. Dear mom, please let your dogs behind and leave me go to the camp. The counselors will learn us to ride horses. We will learn how to swim. This experience will help me grow and leave me by be proud myself. I will teach so many things by being part of the camp. Please let me show you that this is a good idea. Love, Meg. Remember, it has six errors. Okay? Now, let's reread number one. It says, please let your dogs behind. It's not let that permit. It's leave to remain in place. So, please leave your dogs behind and leave and let me go. Permit me go. To the cap. So I already give you two answers. You have to locate four more. Okay, guys, let's go to the next activity. I want you to look up the map. We have the map, we have the parking lot, the pet playground, the entrance, the bunks, the art sheet, the lockers, the music shed, the cafeteria, the soccer field, and the lake. It is Visiting day at camp. Use the map below to answer the visitor's question. Write a complete sentence, complete sentence with subject and predicate for each answer. Use the word teach, learn, let, and leave in your answers. Okay? You have to use this verse in your answers. I will help you with number one. Where do I park my, park my car? Sorry, where do I park my car? You can leave your car at the parking lot. You can leave. So your car could remain in place. Okay? Number two, where can my dog run? Now, there is a pet playground. So let your dog Run at the pet playground or leave your dog at the pet playground. Okay, you will permit the dog or you will let the dog be. Okay, or leave it. Question three Where can we sing the new camp song? Remember to use the word teach or learn or leave. Or lead. Where can I watch the coach instructing the soccer team? Again, you will use in the sentence the verse teach, learn, lead, and lead. Now pay attention on the last instruction. It says now write one more question. A visitor may ask. Then write your answer using the verse teach, learn, lead, and lead. Right here, you will invent, where can I have a snack? Where can I play soccer? Where can my sisters learn art? Where can I find the locker? Okay, or leave my things. Okay, so you will write your own sentence. Okay? And send me evidence of the activity. And remember, the more that you read, the more things you will know. The more that you learn, the more places you will go. So keep reading. Goodbye, guys. I miss you.